wife. Are you anti-woman? I love women. In fact, interesting statistic, 100% of the people I've ever had sex with were women. So I, I love women. I have nothing against women at all. I'm not sexist in any regard. I'm not misogynist either. I'm a, I'm a realist. Like I'm a realistic person. As a realist in the modern world, they're going to call you sexist, misogynist, etc. But I'm none of those things. I am just- Why, why do they call you that? Because I say the truth. Which is? Uh, women can't fight. Men are stronger. <laughs> like based- more true things. I, I think another thing I said is I said, and, and maybe I'll upset the ladies on the podcast. I hope not, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Probably will. I said, if I were to get on a plane and I were to, that plane was to fly into the eye of a hurricane, there was a 50% chance of it crashing. I'd want a male pilot because I think that males are better under stress and under pressure. I think they're less likely to get emotional in, the, in, the, in a life or death situation. That's why they make better soldiers. That doesn't mean I'm, mis- that doesn't make me a misogynist. That doesn't make me sexist. That's just true. Women are better at other things than men. And I'll sit here and say women are better at X, but I will say that men are better at Y. I'm not gonna sit and pretend that that we're all the same. We're not. Under pressure, when your life is on the line, anyone with a, anyone who's honest would want a male pilot in said situation. You would not want a female pilot. Uh, so I disagree with that. I think that's a person by person, but I agree with men are stronger than women. I don't think anyone can argue that. Uh, if you, you're telling me if you were to fly into a hurricane, and you had the choice between a male pilot and a female pilot, you wouldn't have zero preference at all, Dave. You're not knowing, not knowing shit, anything Dave. about either of them. They're both pro pilots. No, I wouldn't. I, we're not talking about dunking a basketball. Well, I would choose a man because I know from my own personal experiences that when shit hits the fan and emotions are high and it's life or death, that the man is more likely to remain calm and calm is what's going to keep me alive. So I would choose the man for the same reason I would choose women to do other things. Let me give you another example then, Dave, if gender roles aren't real and you're now. No, I think there are gender roles are real. That particular example, though, I, I'm sure you can have great female pilots. I never said you couldn't. I said I'd choose a man in that particular That's situation. I don't say a lot of that. stuff about women like that. They're your property. That's not what I said. I was talking about an OnlyFans company when that was question was asked. But I said that if a woman is going out with a man, she belongs to that man. That's his woman. So if she wants to do OnlyFans. She owes him some money because she's his. So yes, that's you, what you I said. Think well, that's the, crazy. You think if a <laughs> that man... That crazy. If you, so you think that a man going out with a girl, that that's just your property? There, there, there can't be an being, equal relationship? No. That one was nuts. Okay, that cool. one was nuts. I'm, I'm this is where it goes good. crazy. Cool. No, so but I'm, no, that that one you can, If I understood what you said, that if a guy and a girl is dating and a girl does OnlyFans, she owes him a cut. No, one hundred percent. Girl, one hundred percent. He is owes. his girl. But what's that have to do with anything? Because she's his. Yeah. So that's uh, what, yeah, so that is part, you saying that women crazy. are y- your property. It's not about being property. It's about the fact that she belongs to him and the intimate parts of her body belong to him because they're in a relationship. And if she wants to sell those, he has a stake in those so, intimate parts so, of her body. So so it's reverse. Uh, male porn star owes the woman. I don't know, because I think the women belong to the man. I think the woman's yeah, given Yeah, that's inherently man. where you get called sexist. No, it's not. Well, you can, you can call me sexist if you want, but if you look at marriage, it's the bride's father who gives her away. It's not the groom's father. It's old tradition. It, 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 I, I, yeah, I got I, I to I gotta guess. The woman belongs as, to the man. So it's slavery. Yeah, no, but I got to guess as somebody who's multicultural and everything, that that certainly is a tradition that does not apply everywhere. The woman is always given over to the man. Read, a, read the Bible, read the Quran. I'm not saying they're a property. I'm saying they're given to the man and they belong to the man. It doesn't mean they're a pure property without emotion. It means they're believing, they're given to the man. They take the man's name. You said it's her parts. You said it's, my, it's the guy's parts. You're like, if she's on OnlyFans, the guy owns those parts, so he gets a cut. Well, those parts are intimate, right? That's the whole point of her being his. Yeah, but you didn't do reverse. When I said if a um, gay, if a male porn star Correct. does it, he doesn't owe the girl a cut. Uh, correct, because she, because he doesn't belong to her. She still belongs to him. Correct. So that's the sexist part. But and you've also said that that, that, that you realistic. could. You've also said that you could have multiple partners, but a female that was with you couldn't also have multiple partners. Well, a woman could say that same thing if she decided. She could say, I can sleep with multiple men, but my men can't sleep with multiple women if she so choose. We're all free individuals, right? Yeah, but you don't. You wouldn't that. agree if a woman said that. I don't think, I, I would personally find that revolting, correct? But there are women who find what I say revolting. So you're not telling other people what to think. You're just saying how you think. Yeah, I mean, if I, I think that, a, I think if a man is uh, sexual, is not sexually exclusive, it's not the same as if a woman is. Because with a woman, you have the paternity issue. With a man, you don't have a paternity issue. If I have three girlfriends and, and they all get pregnant, we know who the mother and who the father is. If you have one woman and three men, you don't know who even the parents are if she got pregnant. 
So it's a whole big issue, right? Science can step well, in mean, and kind yeah, of fix yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. But it's a good discussion. <laughs> DNA tests are pretty accessible nowadays. Of course, yeah. That's exactly it. So I said science can step in and fix it, but that doesn't mean it's not haram and against the will of God. Look, read the Bible. And there was not a single woman who was celebrated for having multiple husbands. Female promiscuity has always been disgusted and frown disgusting and frowned upon. In every single book ever written ever, in all of history, and all cultures ever, women were supposed to be virgins. Women sleeping with lots and lots and lots of men has never been celebrated ever. Besides, in the last 40 years in the West, in a degrading society. Well, yeah, okay, cool. But if you're going to look at it traditionally, traditionally, women were not supposed to act that way. And I don't think women want to act that way anyway. I don't think women intrinsically want to follow a bunch of people. I don't think you well, know I don't, what well, women I don't want. See the well, the women I know don't want to. When I, meet a, when I meet a woman, she doesn't say, I can't wait to get out there and sleep with a bunch of dudes. Maybe there are some. I don't oh, know. I don't want there's to. definitely like cleat chasers who fucking love that. I, I don't know where, getting this impression I hate women. I, I mean, we can attempt to... We can purport that. We can attempt to, to label me without all we want. I'm happy to discuss that. I absolutely not really love women. I have nothing against women. I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. They create life. They should be protected. They should be provided for. I would never let a woman pay for a bill. I would never let a woman, uh, if someone touched any of my women, I would stand up against 10 men by myself and risk my life to protect her. I believe that women are beautiful creatures. I just don't think that they're as emotionally calm as men in stressful situations. I don't think they can fight like a man can. And, and for the same reason, I would never drop my children in an all male nursery. I think that's strange and weird. I would only drop them in an all female nursery. Women do certain things and men do certain things. And we live in a world now where the whole idea of the roles has been conflated to the fact where if I come along and say women are better with children and men are better at fighting, that I'm somehow fuck sexist when it's clearly true. There's nothing wrong with stating the facts. It's the truth. You're, you're mixing them up true. because I agree with some of what you're saying. Like, yeah, again, but then you throw in the OnlyFans, you need 100% correct. thing. Like, that's yeah. really only anybody sexist. here is arguing that, like, in a fist fight, a man's going to win. Okay. Yeah. Then, what, so what, about, only... what about intelligence? Do you think women are as smart as men? Well, it's been proven that the smartest people in the world are men. See, that's but, thing. Yeah. I think we're that's been proven. Is some issues. That's, proven no, that's how? been, that's been proven. proven. By That's who? been proven. How? What? Where? So there's the bell curve, right? So men are more likely to be on the extremes. So the most stupid in the people, most stupid people on the planet are men, and the most intelligent people on the planet are men. Women are more likely inside of the middle of the deviation. So this has all been proven, right? Men are more By likely. To be extreme. It, it, read the study. It's more likely men what are on the extreme. What study? Google it. What You're are you <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna Google it. What, like what Google. am I writing? What am I writing in for a Google? Search? Are men smarter than women? <laughs> okay, I should be interested in what comes up. Are men? Smarter? But I can also give you personal experience if you'd like. Yeah, let's hear Hockey it. Socks up. I just hate. Oh. I just highest IQ in the world. Literally, what comes up? Marilyn von Savant has one of the world's cool. highest IQs. She is cool. known as the smartest person in the world. Cool. Then, then, all right, cool. Then I'm, then I'm totally wrong. I never even said. All I told you is that the most stupid people in the world were men and the most intelligent people in the world were men. I, re I read a study on it four or five years ago and I thought, you know what? I know some stupid men. I don't know women that dumb. I agree with that. And I know some really smart men. I don't know women that smart.